My name is Erin Latimer, and I'm the laboratory manager of the National Elephant Herpes Virus Laboratory at the Smithsonian's National Zoo. We work on EHV in this lab, elephant endotheliotropic herpes virus. EHV affects elephants in human care and in the wild. It shows up in Asian elephants in the wild in the same breadth of diversity as in captivity. There are currently seven types that we know about, EEHV 1 through 7. We know that EHV shows up in the trunk secretions. What we would like to know is EHV shed in semen, sperm, or seminal fluid. There's no evidence at this time that it's in semen samples or that it's transmitted through breeding. This is going to be the first study to test a large number of semen and seminal fluid samples. We're going to be testing about 200 different samples from about a dozen elephants. We are able to do this study through a generous donation from the International Elephant Foundation. They are supplying all the reagents and supplies that are being used in this study. My name is Nicole First and I am an intern in the EEHV lab at the National Zoo. I am working on semen samples from Asian and African elephants and I am looking for to determine the prevalence of EEHV in these samples. Every day I'm testing about 10 samples, but for different types of EHV, because there's different strains. In total, I'm hoping to cover at least 100 samples during my internship. So right now we are preparing DNA from the semen samples. We use little columns which pull out the DNA from the samples, and it pulls out all the DNA, the elephant DNA, and if there's any virus in there, it pulls out the viral DNA and then we can test those samples for EHV. We use something called polymerase chain reaction, which is also known as PCR. And what that does is it amplifies any little bits of DNA and makes enough of the DNA so that we can see it either on a gel or with a real-time PCR. The exciting part is when we put the gels under UV radiation, turn it on and see if there's any bands. And if there's a band, it means you know, we might have EHV in the samples, so we'll cut the band out, we'll send it out for sequencing, and compare the sequences to the sequences of EHV that have been found in the past. If it turns out that EHV is shed in semen samples, we would be screening the semen samples before they get used for artificial insemination.